Right then, N47, and I'm pretty sure you already know what's coming. I'm surprised we haven't already done this video on our channel before, but it's in for the timing chains. So I'm sure if you're aware of the N47 engine, you're aware of the timing chain problems. Luckily, this one hasn't failed yet, but as a preventative measure, we're gonna be changing the chains on this today, as well as a few other modifications. We've got the cat-back exhaust system, new rear valance, uh, front mount intercooler, and then we'll be tuning it as well. But the first job before we do anything else is get this engine out, and we'll have a closer look as to what needs to be done to change the timing chains on this engine. So we've got the engine out, probably about two hours to do with that. We have found a couple of other problems while doing that. One of them being this, which is supposed to have flange on there. So somehow flange delete. Not sure how that's happened, but that's resulted in a lot of soot. Customer did notice a weird noise and thought he could smell some it. Probably explain it. But I think Ruben's obviously already took the clutch and flywheel off. Um, the next job is to kind of get it stripped down. We need to get the rock cover off, all the, um, the timing casing off, the sump off, and then make a start on the chains. So I think there's three chains in total on this. We've got all the proper timing tool kit to do this. We'll get cracked on, or should I say, we'll let Ruben crack on. I've got him a little surprise and I'm gonna put an head cam on him. So hopefully we get some good footage of him stripping all this down. And then once we've actually done the timing chains, we can actually get onto the decent bits, and that's the upgrades and some tuning. Ah, oh, I got a surprise. I like him all just chains, don't you? Full power! <laughs> Go on, put it on. Doesn't fit. I'm surprised it does fit your head. <laughs> let's have a look, let's have a look. Line it up. Go on. Start pretending to work. Is it, anyway. <laughs> is it a good shot? Can you see it? I can't Go see on. obviously. No, pretend you would be. Yeah, you can't see this. Oh, sound, man. Sound? I'm laughing at it.
What the f***? So we've got the timing cover off. We can see all the chains now, the pulleys, the guides and everything. We've got the crank locked off. We've got the cams locked off with the specialist tools. Good thing about this job, once you've done and you cleaned up all your old chains, you've got yourself some nice jewelry if you wanted to keep it. But one thing I've noticed where we've got the parts is some of these have been revised. So there's clearly a problem somewhere along the line because BMW have changed the design of these guides so you can see if we put them side by side it looks like the material the actual design and everything is uh, is quite a bit different so i'd imagine that is one of the failure points one of the garages or someone that do does this day in day out i'm pretty sure they'll be able to comment below on what the actual main failures are on this engine i'm pretty sure there's more than one but fingers crossed now with these revised parts this engine doesn't have any more problems like that in the future. We've got the new gears, we've got new seals, we've got the tensioner for the side of the head, that just pops in there. We've got the grenade tensioner, which if you pull out that pin, it'll explode. Not really, but it will push out the piston and then you're probably gonna to struggle to get that back in. So we'll not hold up Ruben any longer, we'll let him crack on and actually get these new chains fitted. Although Ruben has the skills to replace the timing chains on this 118D, he doesn't seem to know how to use a GoPro, so here is everything he just did in reverse, to make it look like he filmed it. So, we've got the new chains on, it's time to turn it over and see if Ruben's done everything right, so if it makes any weird noises, it's probably not gone to plan, but I'm confident that he's done everything right, so... I should be able to just take that off. Spin that on there. There we go. Fingers crossed.
So that all seems to be working as it should, which is good. So the final job now is to put everything back together, get the engine back in the car, and then like we said, we can finally get onto the good stuff, which is uh, modifications and tuning. So that's the majority of this job done, just a few other bits to tidy up and put back on in the engine bay, but we are now ready to start. So fingers crossed, this all goes to plan. So there we have it, timing chains have been done. I do make out in this video that Ruben doesn't know what he's on about, but he actually does. So I was never actually concerned that he weren't going to start. Maybe he was, I'm not sure. But like we said, just got a few things to put back on now and then we'll crack on with the exhaust, the rear valance, the intercooler, and then we're going to the dyno for tuning. So that's it, it's all tuned. We've got the power figures, let's have a look. Just two runs back to back, 170 horsepower. It's about what we expect from these. The pump and the injectors are quite small. I think this is a 143 model standard, but I'm pretty sure the customer's gonna be happy. It's got fresh chains on there now. We've got a nice bit of extra power. The car's future proofed, so there's no reason why the customer wouldn't be happy with this now. So. We're gonna get it off the dyno, give it back to the customer, and let them enjoy it for many more years to come. Thanks for watching.